Welcome to Saranka with Fumi, and this is how to draft a basic bodice block. The bust I'll be using is bust 34, waist 28, the shoulder that's the back that is 14 inches, and the half length for this tutorial is going to be 16 inches. This bodice block will help you do a lot of adaptations. It could be sewn into a tall gown and all sorts so let's move to the class before we move on don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up so it this will encourage me to do more just follow everything i mark everything that's the best way you can get this tutorial and make sure you use your own measurements use your own measurement and practice so guys here's the pattern paper you need your tape measure your french curve your pencil and marker so i'm using marker so you can see the video very you can see all my markings very well so the first thing i'm gonna do is measure my shoulder measurement which is 14 divided by 2 so i'm marking 7 right there and i just came down by 1 inch for my shoulder slants and for my leg now i'm using three by three for my neckline so that's like an accurate measurement and so use my french cuff to cuff out the neck point so i'm gonna connect in the one i marked down up to the neck point that's for my shoulder slant and from that shoulder slant point i'm gonna be measuring my bust line some people do call it chest line but I prefer to call the bust line rather. So to get my bust line, I'm going to be um, using the cutter of my bust measurement, which is 34 divided by 4. That gives me 8.5 minus 1. So that gives me 7.5. So that is how I got my bust point. So moving back to the beginning of the paper, that is where I'm going to be marking my bust, my bust points, my under bust, and my waist measurement so from there from the shoulder to nipple is nine inches so that's for my bust point my under bust is 13 so i mark 13 right there and moving downward i mark the waist line which is 16 inches and i had it two inches because the front is going to be bigger than the back so to get the circumference of what i'll be working with i use the cutter of my bust measurement divided by four plus two inches you know just for in case i'm going to be using one inch allowance for ease and i will add if i want to so i'm marking 8.5 plus 2 i'm marking 10.5 all the way down and i'm going to be connecting the lines together So I'm going to be connecting together to give me a straight line. So this will guide me in my markings. So I'm going to be doing the same thing for the back also. Don't mind me. <laughs> so moving on. I'm going to be marking the same 12 inches for the back. So I'm going to be extending it from that line I marked for the front pattern. So I'm going to mark in 12 all the way down. So I'm marking 12 all the way down. So I'm going to connect the lines together and make it into a straight line all the way. So I'm going to be extending the lines. The only lines I'm going to be extending is the waistline. The, my actual waistline. I'm, going to just, I'm not going to be adding the two inches I added extra to the back. So I'm adding, I'm extending my bust line also. So that makes the back pattern shorter than the front pattern because i have added two inches for the front pattern you will know the reason why i did that let's keep watching
so from the back points from that point i'm going to mark my shoulder measurement also which is seven inches that's what's in the right by two and come down by one inch and go over to mark a straight line and move on to mark my neck depth which is three inches by one inch you know i did three by three for the front pattern so for the back is three by one inch so connecting the shoulder slants and mark using my ammo cuff to mark out my back neckline so after doing that for my back measurements i'm just gonna be measuring my three cut my mm, cutter of my cutter post and I'm just trying to mark it down to get before I mark my cut post. I'm trying to look for my arm over line, so I'm trying to like measure it so the lines will be straight. So after marking, I'm gonna do a straight line all the way down, and that's my arm over line. So after doing that, this is the arm over for both the front and the back pattern. So right from the top, I'm going to look for the midpoint. So I'm going to look for the midpoint here and mark it out and do a mark a quarter inch inside, a quarter inch, not up to half inch, like just like a centimeter to be, just a centimeter, just mark a quarter inch. And I'm going to place my arm or curve like so. So placing my arm all curve up to the bust line. So I'm going to mark it like so. Touching the line I marked inside. So I'm going to draft my arm all like so. So you need to get an arm all curve. Unless you know you are very artistic and you can actually curve your hands so very well. So I'm going to be doing the same thing for the black pattern also. Looking for the midpoint. So for the back, I'm going to be measuring half inch inside. So I'm going to place my arm over the same way and connect the lines together to make a curve. Like so. So you just see how my arm is looking so beautiful. <laughs> You know, drafting the basic body is very simple. Once you can follow, just follow the way I'm doing it and you will really get it so easily. Yes. So, right now I'm going to be measuring my cutter, uh, my bust measurement. The cutter measurement of my bust, which is 34 divided by 4. That gives me 8.5 plus 1 inch allowance. So, I marked 9.5 right there. So, for the waistline... 28 which is 7 inches plus 2 for that and 1 for seam allowance that gives me 10 so I'm going to be connecting the lines together like so so I'm going to be doing the same thing for the back 8.5 plus 1 that's 9.5 and for the waist, instead of adding two, I'm going to be adding one. So seven plus two plus one for that and one for same allowance. That gives me nine inches. But I'm not going to be marking it like, like that. So I'm going to be using the pencil, not the marker, because that's not the final line. I'm still going to be extending the line. So just look forward to that. And you will know the reason why I am doing so. So after that, I'm going to be looking for the um, my nipple to nipple measurements. That is my bust divided by 4 minus 1.5 divided by 2. So the bust is 8.5 divided minus 1.5 divided by 2. So that gives me 3 point two five i guess so yes so that's what i'm marking all the way down i 
oh 3.5 i beg your pardon so that's what i'm marking all the way down so that's my nipple to nipple point i'm going to repeat the same thing for the back measurements so i connected the point up to the bust point for the front pattern and up to the bust line for the back pattern the line is touching the bust line and the line is touching the bust points on the front pattern so marking half inch by the side and i'm connecting my dots like so you just see the way i placed it so that's how i connected my dots and right on the waist i'm going to be marking one inch right there and one inch right there and on the on the bust i'm going to be using 1.2 filers on one quarter measurements on each side and on my bust point i'm going to go up go down by one inch and i'm going to go up by one inch so after doing that i'm going to come here and look for the midpoint of my shoulder line so after getting my midpoint i'm going to mark it right there i'm going to mark my midpoint right there and i'm going to connect it to my bust points like so so i'm going to connect all these dots together so right from the waist up up like so and connect like so just draw all the lines together as you have dotted them you can use pencil in case you need to erase a mistake so i'm trying to use my so you can actually see it very well so don't mind me so those are the parts i'm gonna cut off so i'm trying to use the curve to blend it because i don't want any sharp edges so i'm trying to use it to curve it to look for a curve so it doesn't have any sharp edges so that makes our work more our work more smoother and it blends so very well <laughs> it really blends so much so after I'm doing that from my waist for the back pattern i'm gonna be reducing one inch because our back is not straight so from there i'm gonna connect it up to the bust line i'm gonna stand it like that one inch and stand it up to the bust line for the back pattern and after then i'm gonna be measuring my zip allowance my zip allowance is one inch just use one inch don't make it so big and one inch is a very very normal size just mark one inch right from that line and connecting it you see that the cuff is out because our back is not straight and we actually need it to be curved because what you do in your pattern that reflects when you cut it on fabric so that's our super allowance so the one that i had it here i'm going to be replacing the back here that was why i used to paint to do all the time so now i'll be using my marker to connect it so i've returned back the one because using that one we reduced the measurement so i added back the one here i added it back here and connect it together so the two that i, I removed i had it on the front pattern i'm going to be using it for my on top post that so i marked two right from the bust point and I'm connected, connecting it to the post point right here. So I'm going to be cutting that off or pinning it down. You get to see how I do it. Just keep it locked here. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Yeah, so our pattern is almost ready. Almost ready. So right now I'm going to be cutting off so I can actually do the remaining trick and show you the rest so i'm gonna be cutting it off right now yeah 
know, just follow the lines you created. Careful, because you know, this paper can be so funny at times. So, I'm cutting my shoulders to land, cutting out my neckline. So here comes my front pattern. So I'm taking the half. So that's my center front because this is the cut of my measurements. If you're cutting on fabric, it will be on fold. Don't forget that. So cutting my back come home. This is looking so beautiful. Yeah. So after cutting that off, the shoulder slant for the back, I'm cutting that off and I'll do the neckline also, cut that off. This can be all treated later, it depends on the style you are making. So that's my center back. So we have our back part and I can decide to extend it. If I want to have a shoulder that's at the back, so I'm going to cut off that out, the SS, I'm going to cut off the SS out. See that you pin it down or tip it down so it doesn't move the way it is. So if you decide to extend, this is the front and this is the back. You can see the lines are not equal. so. I need to close up my bust that so the lines can align. I hope you can see it very well. I'm trying to place it so you can see what we've been doing since morning. So, <laughs> since morning, oh no, 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 that's Nigerian time. So, this is how you'll be closing your show, your bust that. Can you see that? I'm gonna be closing right from the down part and place it okay let me cut this off first let me cut the normal that off first make sure you don't cut through just cut a little bit and you remove so that's done so after doing that, i'm gonna slash my shoulder line yeah, that's my shoulder. I'm not going to call through. I'll still call through anyways when I'm about to cut on fabric. So in case you want to do it, just cut it through and you're fine. But don't cut it through yet until you pass and um, you close the waist that. So close up the waist that and um, you see that it doesn't align here. So I have to add an extra paper to it to make it align. So I'm going to add a paper for of like 2 inch or, or so and I'm going to tape it down so I can easily connect my lines back together and make it very equal. So I'm trying to tape it down like so. So I'm trying to pin down, tip it down rather. So, yes, yeah, so I'm adding the extra paper, so I'm trying to tip it down on the wrong side at the back. Yes, so after pinning it down, so now I can fold my bust that and realign, redraw my line so it doesn't affect it. So I'm going to cut off the excess. Cutting out the SS. 
Okay, let me mark, um, let me connect the line so I don't get to do a mistake. Yes, so after connecting it, so now I can cut. Oh, yes. So, my line is back. Can you see that? So, here I'm going to tip it down like so. So I'm tipping it down like that. Yeah, you see that the that has opened more at the shoulder. We had it more opening to the shoulder that and post the with that. Can you see that it's now aligned with the back pattern? Yes, everything is now the same. Why we did that is because we have post in our, our front and you know the back is flat covering flat so it has to there has to be a difference yes so here is the that you can extend it divide the shoulder line into two and come down like that and this is the front part hand huh? by the time you finish drafting you should have something like so you should have something like this. So with this, you can do your gown, you can do your tops, you can do your peplum top, any kind of top. This, you know, with this, you can even do corset because you can easily alterate this bodice pattern. This is like a basic foundation. This is like a template. So with this, you're good to go. I hope you enjoyed this class and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that's the back and this is the front pattern thank you for watching and i love y'all bye bye